Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Strange Creatures. Uh, my name is Yoko Rodriguez and in this show we'll, we're going to be reviewing the, the rat monster for us the mutant from the film La Rata Malita or Mutantes del Año 2000 uh, aka The Demon Rat which is a Mexican film from the early 90s, uh, 1992, directed by Ruben Galindo Jr. Uh, which uh, actually takes place in a uh, very polluted Mexico City in the near future, the year 2000, where an evil corporation is dumping hazardous chemicals into the sewers and uh, causing uh, the local fauna, like uh, flies, uh, rats, mosquitoes, to mutate and grow at least a hundred times larger than their normal size, causing instant death on most of them except for a very resilient rat that happens uh, to keep invading a beautiful school teacher's house. As it keeps growing, uh, uh, it, it's uh, evading her traps uh, until it becomes this huge, almost humanoid monster, which, uh, which is very strong and aggressive, elusive, and uh, it did take quite a few rounds of bullets to, to be taken down. The concept is great, but unfortunately the creature itself was not the highlight of the film, uh, very likely uh, due to budgetary constraints. Uh, and that's uh, very visible and uh, probably the reason the monster uh, has uh, very little screen time. It's uh, basically a guy in a, in a hairy gorilla suit uh, and a wig. Looks like the creatures uh, were, um, were done by uh, Arturo Galicia, which is the makeup uh, artist. And the effects artist is Javier Segura, still given the scarcity of, of sci-fi horror films made in Mexico. The movie is, um, is still considered an obscure gem and a decent effort. So I, I hope this bit of information was helpful and I hope you guys get a chance to take a look at this movie, if not for the creature, at least for the storyline. Okay, so that's it for today and hope you stick around. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and to like and also to share and enjoy. I'll see you next time.